guys, it's Angela Kelly Mom Collects and Nala, if you can see her down there, she decided to lay by me as I did the video, but um, I just wanted to say before we got started in the next series, which is going to be Goodwill Food Boxes, I wanted to say hello and I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you all for being here. Um, it was a request from, oh, <laughs> Matt. That's Max the puppy, and he's full of energy, but. Hi guys, it's Angela Kelly, Mom Collects, and before we get going with this next series, and it is gonna be Goodwill Blue Boxes, as per request from one of you, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Goodwill Blue Boxes next, and I believe I've got five or six, and they did come from New Jersey, so I'm super excited. Oh, the doggies wanted to say hello too. That is Nala, the German Shepherd. The black one over here is Max, the puppy. And the blonde one is Luna, but she is a Husky Lab mix. So, okay, let's get started. Let's get this opened and open the first bag from Goodwill Blue Box, New Jersey. Chat with you guys later. Goodbye. All right, this is a really big box. It's hard to get in the frame, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open. Normally New Jersey has bags, so. Is this box not wanting to open? Okay. Right, we have bags. Which one should I grab first? All right, I'm gonna go for this one. All right, let me move this big, huge box and then we will get into the bag. All right, we've got our first bag, let's take a peek from the outside before we dump it. Ooh, ooh, that looks exciting. All right. adjusting and then where was that piece that I wanted to see all right we'll start with that but first if anybody is new and is wondering why I dump out the bag and push it aside is because by dumping out the bag it kind of loosens the jewelry where it's not so compacted and the hopes is, is that the pieces will pull out easier. So that is why I do that. And also a couple of you guys mentioned about having a sold listings. I have not yet done that. Um, as my following increases, I, I may have to. I may try like a little trial thing on this one and see. And you guys could let me know what you think about that if it's easier for you. But also, sometimes when you get just the emails and something falls through, you have somebody second in line for something. So I kind of like that too. So I haven't really explored putting any sold listings up in the comments. So you guys let me know what you think about that. And I will try to figure that out for you. Okay. First piece, this is beautiful. It 
is cloisonne like but I believe that there's another word for it that is just gorgeous and the gold tone is so good still interesting so it looks like shell is that stone that might be kind of looks like coral inlay let me see if we could get in close and really look at this one this is really unique Look at that. Pretty interesting. It looks like some sort of natural element, maybe even coral. Coral and shell. I do not see any markings, but that is a neat piece. We're still in really close. Actually, let's stay in close for this. Look at this. I've seen bracelets like this. This is the first time seeing a ring like this. It's the mixed metals of um, the silver tone, brass, and copper, and then the stone, which it kind of looks like lapis. It's kind of dark. So I'm also gonna do something a little bit different this video as well, because there's been a lot of testing and I think that there's a lot of you that like to see the testing and a lot of you guys who are pretty experienced and don't necessarily need to. So I'm gonna start doing all testing, whether it is the sterling silver, amber, bakelite at the end, almost like a part two to the back of the video. And that way we can get through the jewelry and if anybody wants to see the testing, then they could see it in the part two of the, the end of the video. So let's see how that works. I'll eventually get everything dialed in. And I'll find a format that works best for me and you guys. like we have a vintage choker. It's a nice thick material here, lace-like and a nice hook closure. We have a skull necklace. One of the rhinestone eyes is missing. Does that say something? It doesn't look like it. It's on a vintage chain. We'll see if we come across a little, it's pretty substantial. It is a heavier metal. We'll see if we come across another eye. Yeah, I see something really neat I want to look at. Ooh. Ooh, matching to that brooch. We'll put it aside with the earrings and hopefully the other one is there. Okay. Okay, this looks beautiful. We've got tiger's eye. We've got an amber glass, faceted glass bead, and there is a hang tag. 
Donna Dressler. And I do believe I see, yep, right there on the clasp, 925. Right up there. This necklace is stunning. It is heavy, it is substantial, it is beautiful. Big, chunky tiger's eye pieces. This is a really great thing to have in this bag. Great start. We have a little ring. Looks like a fashion ring. Oh, I do think I see some like copper coming through at the back, but that's an eight and a half. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull it back because we just put it over there. But we have the matching earrings. So let me get that brooch because we have a set that is so... And the condition of this is just great. They look new. So cool. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, what does this say? Made in Italy. What does that say? America needs Fatima. Feels like acrylic beads. We have a little band ring. Ring, it does look like possibly it's silver. I'll do the testing for that at the end, but it is a size eight. another ring. Ooh, oh, bummer. This one is missing a green rhinestone, but this is totally vintage. Somewhere on the back, which is standard for these vintage rings. Hopefully we come across that little emerald rhinestone because that is super cool. I don't know if you can see the texture but that's awesome. Looks like we have some acrylic bead, uh, an acrylic bead necklace. I don't see any brands. It's graduating in size. The silver tone looks good. And I see this is Lucky Brand, but I also see that it has quite a bit of wearing. Let's look closely. Yeah. All right, that is going into the craft bag. And if for anybody that doesn't know, each video I have a craft bag. I put all the craft pieces in there. And then the craft bag is $10 for the whole bag. Stone stretch. 
all the rhinestones look to be there. Stretch feels good. Cute little crystal rhinestone snowflake necklace on a simple ball bead chain. It's a fashion piece. We have a multi-strand with what looks like glass and maybe shell pieces. What is this? My nails are overgrown. I need to get them done, hopefully before the next video. M and S, M and S. Pretty peacock seed beads. Almost has like a, a glow on the green glass. And these look like they could be shell. Pretty little simple piece, pretty colors. too close. All right, we have a simple, small little chain mail necklace. Normally the, the bib on these chain mail necklaces are larger. I'll see. We got a Liz Claiborne. There is Lauren Conrad and Liz Claiborne, but I believe this one is Liz Claiborne. I try to just look at the style because their markings are very similar. Okay, I do think I see some fading on this. That's pretty. Pretty little rhinestone heart on silver tone. Looks like a double heart there. And the silver tone looks nice. Okay, that looks to be in good condition. A silver bangle kind of looks like it could be sterling silver it is not magnetic I will check that we'll do some sterling silver testing and all the other testing at the, the end that definitely looks like sterling silver Yep, it says 925. And then it looks like it says Italy up there. Italy 925. It looks like Jade, but we will test that at the end as well. And that way maybe we'll get through the actual lot of jewelry a little bit faster. We have the backing to a brooch. Looks neat and that came out. This is a locket. It feels really, it feels nice. Looks vintage. Oh, yeah, 
it has the little plastic pieces to put pictures. That's a nice locket. I cut myself. Don't mind the band-aid. Okay, there is a darkening on this chain, but this is a cool vintage locket. Look at the engravings of the flowers. They're, or it's embossed, but... Okay. All right. Kind of looks like a ship. Sweden, R. Tensmed Sweden, Tennis Med. Okay, that's interesting. It looks like a a pewter. I'm not seeing a clasp on the chain. interesting all right okay, that doesn't want to come out yet so let's get this stuff to fill out looks like how light and Let's see, what's going on here? Is this, okay, I think this was a pull to adjust, but it's unraveling. So, I mean, you could fix that, but I will go ahead and put that into the craft lot and let somebody else fix it. some of this stuff put the earrings aside got some rings to come out of that knot okay this, and that's a pendant all right we have this cute gold tone with a little moon dangling charm the gold tone looks nice i don't see brands it looks like a fashion ring five and a half a rose on silver Oh, and I do see some fading here in the back. So we'll put this one into the craft lot. Oh, it's a frog. And it looks like he's holding some sort of stone, rhinestone studded frog. Don't see any marks. Just about a seven and a quarter. It looks like a stone that the frog's holding, but we'll check that later. Gold tone, little fashion ring. Seven and a half. A pretty plum, deep plum purple cat's eye. Get all my, okay. Roman. We'll see if there is a chain needing a pendant in here. A 
another snake ring. This one, this one, oh, there's some, some wear on the back of this one. I was going to say rhinestone studded, but there's quite a bit of wear on the back of this one. So I'm going to put that into the craft lot. I want to see this pearl necklace. Oh, got it to come out. The earrings over. All right, I'm noticing we've got some hair stuck to the top of that one, but we have really pretty and it looks like real peacock beads. And the memory wire on this looks fine. It looks nice. Looks like maybe it's sterling silver. Don't mind the hair, I'll get that off. Oh, yep, I do think it says sterling silver, 925. Awesome. Let me show you closely the pearls. Really pretty peacock color on the pearls. And it looks to be about a choker length. Like it looks like it'll fit right there on the neck. Okay, got some pretty cool. Let's see if I could get some of these chunky pieces to come out. We have a bangle bracelet. It is a, a wider band bangle bracelet. Don't see any markings on the inside. Really neat leaf, like vine design there. All right, I see another rhinestone bracelet. I think we'll do like we did before. And we will wait to the end and see how many we have in here and sell it as a set. Ooh, this looks unique. Really cool vintage glass beads on that. Thought maybe that was a hidden class, but it's just looks a little bit darker. But there, this is definitely a vintage piece. I could tell by the the metal in the um, in between the faux pearls, and I'll show you that in a bit. And the glass, the glass looks really cool. All right, let's look closely. Like there's definite definite wear and darkening and you can see the metal looks a little bit older cool glass beads really unique glass beads I like this one. Super cool. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? The pearls are bubbles and it's a supposed to be a champagne. Is it supposed to be champagne or is that a martini glass? I think bubbles are for champagne, but the glass kind of looks like a martini glass, but that is so cute. I do not see any marks on the back. The gold tone looks good and that is adorable. So many great pieces in the first bag. I'm excited. What is this? Oh, you know what? I can see this went to this. 
So I know that that is just a simple glue back on, but I'm gonna throw that into the craft lot. All right. All these look very similar. They look and feel light, like little light faux pearls, acrylic. Okay, gonna sell this as a set and if there's any more, I'll put them together. We have the pink, pink faux pearls and this looks like you just would pull it over your head. The cream, you can mix and match and then the red. We'll see if we see any more, but so far, oh, wait, 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 we do. And we have a turquoise. That'll be fun. That makes it a little bit more fun. Mix and match. Okay. All right, that was more than one piece. This is a big one to scoot out it's heavy I do see wear on it but kind of looks like it has some pretty neat pieces wait no 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 sorry about that that's as far out as I can go okay we've got definite glass beads because it was a, a very substantial piece and then it looks like wood and then a gold tone, but the gold tone, as you can see, it's pretty faded up there towards the back. And it gets a little bit better as you get down towards the front of the necklace, but there still is a darkening on this chain. Really cool glass beads though. Okay, this looks really nice. This looks like stone. And I see a brand, Chaps. Really nice gold tone toggle clasp. Nice links. And then we have the stone. This is definite stone. Later, I will test it for you guys to see, but that's a cool chaps necklace. Here's the back. This also looks kind of cool. I want to get that out. Got it. All right, where does this one end and begin? It might be just one you pull over your neck. Has a vintage style to it for sure. I definitely think this one is, is older. A little bit of verdigris. I already showed you guys how to clean that up. Worst case scenario is that it's going to take the gold tone off on those places. All right, so this necklace needs a little bit of help, but it's a it's a cool vintage piece. So it just needs it needs a little bit of TLC. It is a vintage acrylic, but some of the, the beads are peeling. So that will go into craft. I had to feel if it was peeling or if that's just how it was supposed to be, but definitely peeling. Oh, cute. It's a fairy.
don't see any brands on it. I think it's just a cute fairy fashion ring. Oh, and there is, I do see now that I see the back, there is definitely a fading of the silver tone on the back. The front still looked cute though. It's a seven and a quarter. Another snake ring. Let's see if they'll come out. Yeah. Okay. This one, the, the front part is long. Don't see any brands. It looks to be silver tone. All right. I'm back. We had somebody at the door. Seven and a half on the snake ring. All right, it's one piece, three layers. And the layers are pretty far in, in length. So down here we have the little medallion shaped and then here and then here. But I do think I'm seeing wear on this necklace. Oh yeah. The back of that is pretty bad. I'm going to put this into the craft lot. That looks interesting. Uh oh. Okay, I got a couple things to come out of that. Put the earrings up. Like a little pendant or charm of some sort. And this, this looks interesting. It looks like we've got some crushed stone inlay. Kind of has an Aztec design to it. Let's look for marks. And I am trying to speak up because a couple of you said you couldn't hear me. I don't have a big voice, so when I speak up, my voice cracks. But I will do my best. Okay, we will, let's see if it's magnetic. We will test it. Okay, it's not magnetic. We'll test test that later. It was two. Okay, this is a chunky pendant, large links. I remember that. They make bracelets too, but I, it is not coming to me right now. And I am seeing quite a bit of wear on the necklace, so I'm gonna put it into the craft lot anyways. We've got a Chico's. Okay. This is a long one. Let's see. I 
and it comes down into two layers. to lay right and it's just not cooperating with me these are heavy glass pieces the gold tone does look a little light like maybe there's some fading not too bad though Really neat texture on this necklace. Nice heavy glass pieces. All right, that's pretty cool. That's cute. I thought it was a Disney princess at first, but I don't think so. Made in Taiwan, ROC. It's a woman that has a moon for hair and then a little moon here. Pretty cute. I have a fashion stretch ring. Quite a bit of wear on that one. Okay, this is all tangled together. So we're gonna put that up and wait. All right, let's look at these rings. Oh, those are skulls. Disney. All right. So that must be the, what is the Disney Halloween one? Something, 12 days? No. Christmas something? I don't know. I forget. But there's that. Seven. And then this, a little crystal fashion ring, it looks like. Oops, I do think I'm seeing some wear on the back of this one. Yep, that'll go into the craft lot. Okay, the clasp on this necklace is broken. So this necklace with all of these cool beads, they're acrylic, will go into the craft bag. A heavy necklace. I do not know what that hang tag is. If you guys know, let me know. This looks vintage. It feels, it feels and looks like brass, but I do see, it looks like the cordage is pretty dirty. This is a heavy piece. So if there's a way to clean the cord, I think that it would be fine. All right. All right, what happened 
here. But I think it's just supposed to be like that. Quite a bit of wear on this gold ring too. Let's see. It's an eight. You can see how the gold is fading on the back. All right, right away, I can see there is quite a bit of wear. And then one of the little black pieces here, the little piece came out. It almost looked like Brighton at first, but then, then no. And then no. I'm going to put this piece into the craft lot as well. All right, how does this necklace go? I think. Okay, it's a pull to adjust, but I think it's supposed to go like this. You can pull to adjust and then the pearls. It's like a double strand and has the little dainty pearls. This is a nice gold tone chain, really neat flat links here. And it looks like an Avon tag. That is Avon. Looks to be in good condition. All right, this with the shell pieces looks really neat. I want to see it. Okay, I do see where on these gold pieces, like you could kind of see the copper color coming through there, but it is such a cool piece. This one would be worth fixing because it's such a unique looking piece. the cream colored twisted rope and then all of these shell and looks like glass maybe acrylic okay Okay, we have a flat, almost herringbone style necklace, gold tone. I do think I see some fading up towards the top of the clasp and a little heart hang tag. A little bit, not too bad.
another cute little dangling charm ring. This one has the Hums Up hand. Five and a half, very similar to the other one. Let's put the earrings up and then let's look at these two. Whatever this is, the bottom part looked cool, all of these pieces, but the top part with this old gold ribbon does not look cool. So I will put this in the craft lot. Now this looks neat. I can see already that the silver tone is in good condition. Okay, this is cool. It has the padlock, which is very in right now, and the heart. Kind of like a necklace that you would give to somebody you love, like the, they need the key to your heart, like your heart's locked up or something. Really good condition. We've got the regular chain and then the more elongated paper clip links on the other one. That one is in good condition. We have a rose gold bow ring. What does that say? There is a lot of fading on this ring. I think that says Kate Spade, New York. What a bummer. Quite a bit of wear on this ring. Seven. The rose gold is mostly gone in the back. That's a bummer to get a case spade piece and have it be that war. Okay, there. This is a double strand, a vintage double strand. What's going on here? I think that. Oh, this is this is an easy fix. This clip just came off. Just push that close. Okay, so we have an acrylic vintage double strand necklace in black and gold, and it's a good size, good size on the beads on this. Kind of chunky, not too chunky, but kind of. All right, this is a really cute shell and glass bead necklace in a really nice, light, almost a lime green color. It looks to be in good condition. Cute beads, nice shell pieces, purple accents. I thought that earring was part of the necklace, but it was not. Okay, 
Okay, this is a cute gold tone necklace with little dangling beads. A little bit of wear on the clasp up there. Feels like acrylic, but that is really pretty deep teal colors in that. Most emerald, emerald green. Daisy Fuentes. This one looks to be in really good condition. The silver tone looks nice. It feels like a nice piece. It has a large floral-like pendant. Open work. Good condition on the silver tone. pieces and then we got three rings to look at let's look at the big one first I do see a lot of wear on this which is such a bummer because it's a really pretty ring I'm thinking this one is totally worth it to try to get some of the silver paint because this ring is beautiful It feels heavy and nice. It almost looks like Betsy Johnson, how she has that design on the side of hers, but let's get a size. This one is worth fixing up. About an eight and a quarter. A little silver paint and you have yourself a beautiful purple heart statement ring. It looks like glass, but We'll test that later at the end. Oh, I forgot, we still had two rings. Okay, the silver tone on this looks nice. I do think that says something on this one. Maybe not, that might just be texture. Really great condition. Size seven. This one is in really good condition. All right, then we have this gold one. It's just a plain band. I don't see any marks on the inside. It's a six. earrings oh cute we have one of these expansion normally these are um, the Italian stainless steel charm charm bracelets and this one says mom a lot of times there's a brand on the inside but I'm not seeing one Looks to be in good condition, that's super cute. All right, we're getting down, we're getting down. This is it and then we have the knot and then the earrings. Those are all earrings. We've got a wolf. bit of wear here on the back inside and a little bit I see up on the ear. Seven and a half. And then this looks like copper. Mm, 
not seeing any brands on it, but that looks nice. Feels nice and heavy. Okay, let's see. We are just left. Oh, there's one more of those little charms. We are left with this knot. I'm going to see if anything will fall out of it before I pause the video. Nope. All right, I'm gonna pause the video and untangle that and then we'll go through the earrings. Okay, I got all those necklaces untangled. We'll start over here at the right. You guys can't even see it, but it is a acrylic vintage rosary. Pretty light blue beads. And then this little dainty gold tone with little crystal little crystals and it goes into this Y with this bar the gold tone looks decent not perfect but like it's a it's lightening a little bit then we have this vintage chain here nice thick chain except for it has a a bail to a pendant without the pendant so I'm not going to sell any pieces that might have another piece until we're done with all of the bags because sometimes there's the the missing piece in one of the other bags and I'd rather sell something as a whole and this is a vintage, and it almost looks like it ha could be gold-plated. A lot of times these ones are. Vintage watch fob necklace. This little piece in the middle is pretty heavy. And then there's this multi-layer silver tone necklace with faux pearls. The chains seem to be darkening a little bit on this one, and the pearls are acrylic. And then this simple, it's just like a cotton cord, and then this little bar, sliding bar with a pretty rhinestone, but the, the cordage is just just that and then another one of these we had another one of these necklaces in here that had the really darkening on the back and then the pretty glass beads this one with all of these red glass beads I'm gonna put this into the craft lot because we need some pieces in the craft lot and these all these beads would be great All right, now it is time for earrings. All right, let's do some matching. I'm gonna push pause and I'll be right back. All right, I made all the matches I can make in this bag. I'm gonna take all of the single earrings that didn't have a match for now and put them aside until we're done with all of the bags. Okay, let me adjust. We'll start up towards the top. We have these chunky clip earrings. They're light, they're big, but they're light. These also are big, but they're light. Kind of like a swirled acrylic. These ones are heavy. These are a gold tone faux pearl. Don't see any marks. These are also a heavier metal gold tone faux pearl and 
no marks that I could see. These are also a heavy gold tone metal. No marks. Little acrylic clip. Now these, okay. These have a look to when the a gold vermeil gets a tarnish, it kind of has like a purple hue to it. So these will be a pair of earrings that I test at the second part of this video. Kind of looks like a tarnish. And these pretty flower earrings feel like a porcelain of some sort. They feel very delicate. I do not know how they survived. The journey, as a matter of fact, I do think I see a little chip right there. I did not notice that from the front though. Cute earrings. These are a light, almost confetti, lucite style. That does say something. Is it D-A-M? Hmm. We'll see if we can get, see if we can see what that says. These pretty silver tone, I'm gonna stay close cause it looks, you can see better when it's close. Silver tone looks good, kind of a large dangle with a teal colored center, almost enamel like. Pretty peacock dangle earrings. The, the hooks look a little like they need a good cleaning, but those are cute. These are really nice either some sort of glass or ceramic. Dangles. These are really cool. Definitely amethyst. And I'm not sure what that top one is. It might be glass, but those are really pretty faceted amethyst dangle earrings. Little acrylic gold tone and acrylic dangle earrings. These are cool. The design on these, a black enamel on what looks like could be a silver plating at least. I don't see any marks. We will test those later as well. Okay, well, let me adjust the camera over here. And then I'm gonna show you, we have these two earrings that would have totally been cool vintage. They just need to be glued back onto the posts. They just came undone. That's a simple, simple glue job. All right, let's go through the studs. Cute little gold tone with a blue, baby blue colored crystal. These look like they could be sterling silver studs, crystal. More crystal studs. Little gold tone heart studs. They look like they have a little bit of fading. Little really pretty metallic, almost like blue 
on those pearl studs. They look like faux pearl, but I'll look closer later. These definitely are faux pearl studs. I think, I think this is a set. They look very similar. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I think I got the wrong color. Wait, where did that other one go? Okay, there's that's a match and that's a single. So we have a set of three. If I could pick them up, I'm going to sell it as a set. A set of three pearl studs or faux pearl studs. Cute. These are big crystal studs. We will test. These look like they could be sterling silver. These also. And then we have the butterflies. And that looks like that says something in the back there. What does that say? Avon. Okay, those are little Avon butterfly studs. All right, guys, I am going to go ahead, pull back my favorites, and end part one of this video. All right, here are my favorites from this first bag. Number one is this Tiger's Eye in Sterling Silver necklace. I think is just stunning. I also absolutely love this set and this really cool ring. We've got a couple sterling silver pieces that we know because they're marked. We'll do some more testing after this. And these pieces I thought were cool with the stone and maybe coral and then all of the vintage pieces over here I thought were pretty neat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first bag from Goodwill Blue Box, New Jersey. And if you are interested in any of the testing, stick around. And anybody else, if there's anything that you would like, please email me at CallieMomCollects for you at gmail.com. And yes, until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye. All right. Hello to everyone who stuck around for the testing. We are going to test to see if some pieces are sterling silver and also test some of the stones. Now, all three of these pieces here are marked. I look closely, I looked closely at these stud earrings and they all said 925 and this one, but we're going to test the, to see if this is Jade. Oh, where's the little thing? Let me, let me get a little closer on the presidium. Okay. Oh yeah, that one is well into the jade. So that is a little sterling silver and jade pendant necklace. And I thought we'd test these. I don't think that they're diamonds because they're awfully big. I think that they're cubic zirconia, some sort of crystal. So yeah, and then these ones, these ones have a really nice setting on them, but I'm sure these are just crystals as well. These ones are going a little bit higher up in the scale, but I do think that they are still just a, a crystal. All right, now let's come back out. Just readjust. And let's test for silver and gold. Give myself some room. Okay, I thought these ones looked like they had a little bit of a tarnish, so Oh gosh, sorry for the scratchy squeaks. And I already test to see if any of these were magnetic and they weren't. No, I could already see. You'll see like the ones that have the copper or brass base, but this is how I test. My 
see. Mm, those ones are a little bit harder to do. Hold on. Might have to do that like this. The cuffs are a little bit harder. So let's put that one over there. I keep them in the order in which I scratched them so I can remember. And these type of, this type of jewelry is generally not, but also let's just make sure. And this one, I wanted to see if it had a gold plating on it. Because a lot of the vintage watch fobs do. All right. Got all the scratches. Right, let's look closely. Okay, that first one, it is not fading. The third one definitely is at least a silver plate. It's not, not a super strong line, but it's definitely having a reaction. So that one I definitely think is a silver plate. I don't think I see. I think that's it. Okay, so we have this one might be, gosh, it does kind of look like there's a reaction there, though. It's hard to tell sometimes. That one might be like a um, stainless steel or a gold, uh, silver plate over. And then what was the third one? This one. Wait, no. Yeah, three. The frog. The frog is silver plated. Oh, wait, we didn't test that. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. So these were the two that had a reaction. I was kind of... Let me test another part of this bracelet. Kind of looks like it could be alpaca. Oops. So I wanted to test other parts of that bracelet, not just the hook. Nope, it's not. It is not. All right. Okay, lastly, let's look again at the stones. Kind of looks like lapis. You can see the gold flecks in there. is definitely a stone. All right. It wants to be in the quartz, amethyst, citrine, and the jade and spinel. But it looks like lapis to me. That's a cool ring. That is a really cool ring. Okay. These were not sterling silver, but... These amethyst and it might be acrylic.
Yeah, it might be a little acrylic. It didn't even move. All right, what else do we have? Let's see what the the frog. I have a hair stuck to my band-aid. Ooh, it's a slippery little ball. I think it's just glass. It's just a little glass ball. All right. So, what was Sterling? Oh, I think that this has a plate and I'm not 100% on this one, but that is the testing for this video. Thank you guys if you stayed. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.